All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachakudash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the Hopefully Lake. And today, this message is going to be titled, uh, to preach good tidings You see I'm just going to jump right into it This is the book of Isaiah chapter 61 And verse 1 And it says the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Is upon me Because the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Have anointed me to preach good tidings Unto the meek You see So like I said the spirit of the Lord is upon me you know, upon all the brethren, you know, start with the head apostles and elders, you know, and to the brethren on down who teach after the same uh, manner, you know, the 100 percent truth of this gospel. You see, that's the spirit of the Lord upon us. This is nothing of our own words. You know, the Lord, and he uh, he handpicked us hey, to do this job and Lord willing, and he bless us the, uh, the whole fast and do it correctly to the end, you know, for the saving of our souls and our household. You see, but just to prove, you know, this is not of our own doing. You get the book of St. John. This is the Holy Spirit. You see, the book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. And it says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And what the Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. You see? And that's ultimately that's doing the will of the Heavenly Father. You see? It says, hey, preaching those good tidings. Because America being destroyed, that's a good tidings. That's, that's good news. You see? Because once this place is destroyed, hey, we're going to get our homeland back. And it says, and I will pray the Father. You see? So Yahweh said, if you love me, keep my commandments and he gonna pray to the father for us and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever it says even the spirit of truth you see like it just said hey the spirit of the lord is upon me and that spirit is what the spirit of truth the comforter the holy spirit you see it says whom the world cannot receive because it see of him not you see this is only for the elect because it's not for everybody. Everybody can't see this. You see? Like I said, it's only given unto thee and a few like thee, those initiated souls. You see? Like I said, it's, it's uh, given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. This who is only given to the, uh, the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. That's why it says, because it see of him not, neither know of him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and ye shall, Salaki, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. You see, so the Lord said he's not going to leave us comfortless. He's going to come into us. By the way of what? The comforter, the Holy Spirit. You see? Like I said, the spirit of truth. Uh, this is the book of Second Peter, chapter 1, and verse 21. <clears throat> well, I'm starting verse 20. It says, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, meaning that it's not of our own understanding. It's through the comforter, the Holy Spirit, that uh that we know this truth. You see, that it was given to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and passed down to us. You see? I say it's a marathon. They pass the baton to us, and we got to keep we got to keep the marathon going, man. You see, and it says, "For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man." So this is nothing that uh, men have just made up on their own. You see, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. See that comfort. It was the Holy Spirit, the uh, the reason that we have this truth. Uh, when Yahweh Shai gave his life for our nation, that opened up uh, our minds to be able to receive this word, this doctrine, this truth. You see? 
you can get that word, you know what it says, uh, the Holy Ghost, the word for ghost, G4151. It says, just get straight to the point. Okay, it says, sometimes referred to in a way which emphasizes his work and power, the spirit of truth, you see? And hey, how shot hey, he uh he opened our minds up to this truth, man. You see, so nothing nothing uh uh these teachings are of our own will or doing is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. You see, going back to Isaiah 61 and 1, it says, The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha, is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings. You see, when you get their phrase, preach good tidings. H thirteen nineteen. It says to bear news, bring tidings, publish, preach. You see, uh, what they said. Uh, Noah was a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood, and we're coming after that same state. Like I said, in the days of Noah. You see. That was good news. Hey, what Noah was telling them, hey, repent. Hey, the Lord finna flood this place. The Lord finna make it rain. You need to repent or you're gonna die here. You see? Because guess what? The Lord, he cleansed the earth of that wickedness. You see? And he saved Noah and his household. And that's what the Lord finna get ready to do now. He finna destroy America, save the elect. It says, to gladden with good news. And you're supposed to be glad when you hear this truth, man. To know that America is going to be destroyed. You're not going to see no more trannies. No more homos. No more GMO foods. No more chemtrails. Not being sick. To be able to enjoy your kids. Not have to get up in the morning. Before the sun. Just to, to go slave. Now you got to get up. Uh, get ready for work. Get your kids ready for school. Drop them off. God knows what they teaching them in these schools. They got after school same programs. They got... Homos, all type of sick freak trannies and shit, uh, reading to the children. All this gonna be over with. You're gonna be able to rest and enjoy your children, man. This this is the good news. You should be glad when you hear this. And just listen to Elder Malcolm, how he said he was speaking with, you know, a, a woman that he grew up with, and he said she received the gospel. Man, that's that's a joy to hear stuff like that, man. For someone to receive this truth, that is a joy, man. Like, we're getting closer to getting out of here, and you people should be glad to hear this. It says, to announce salvation as good news. Preach. You see, and that's what we're doing. We're announcing salvation until you tell you that America's finna be destroyed, and you can't be saved from it. But you have to repent and return back into Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That is us uh, preaching the good tidings unto you. You see? He says unto the meek, because those are going to be the ones who uh, humble down and hearken unto the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see, the Lord said, uh, I don't want to mess it up. The book of St. Luke, chapter 16. No, it's like 10 and 16. Book of St. Luke. Chapter 10 of verse 16, because this is what the meek will do. It says, he that hear of you, hear of me. You see, you have to be uh, humble to listen to a man telling you that this, these are the words of the Lord. You see? And he that despise of you, despise of me. And he that despise of me, despise of him that sent me. So if you just look at us like we just out here uh, making shit up, you know, this is of our own understanding. Hey, that's awesome that you despising Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. You're going to be destroyed for that, man. But the meek, they're going to hearken into the message. You see? Yep, back to Isaiah 61 and verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good titles unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. You see, so that's our job, to bind up the brokenhearted, to give you this good news, man, that we're finna be delivered, we're finna be able to uh, go home to our righteous land and go and please as we want. Living in America, you need a passport just to leave the country. You see, this nigga want to juice you up, 
You got to have social security, driver license, all type of shit just to go and please here in this place, man. This is vexing. You see? If you don't, if you don't uh, work for this nigga, hey, you're going to be a, 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 a bum on the street somewhere, man. But in the kingdom, hey, we're going to have land. We're going to have cattle. We're going to have true riches, man. Silver, gold, livestock. We're going to be able to, we're going to have chairs. We're going to be able to go uh, to different planets. Really enjoy the ocean, the sea life. You see? Different parts of the world. Things that you've never seen before, man. All in righteousness under our Lord Yahweh Shai. That's the good tidings here to come, man. And like I said, it says uh, to proclaim liberty to the captives. For you niggas who just think that you're not a slave, you're a servant, man. But for, for you people who don't think you're a servant, you just love your master and you want to stay here, man. But this is, once again, this is only for the elect. This is the book of Isaiah. 51 and 14, the captive exile hasted that he may be loosed and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. You see, and that's our hope that we be loose soon, man. We don't want to die here in America, man. And our bread is not going to fail because this word, hey, the Lord said his counsel stand forever. You see, and the Lord said America is going to be destroyed. The elect is going to be uh, saved. Yahweh Shai kingdom is going to be set up here on earth in righteousness. Hey, for forevermore. You see? And that's what we're looking forward into, man. Back to Isaiah 61 and verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. You see? So that's the good tidings. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our powers to comfort all that mourn. Let me get the word acceptable. Uh, H7522. It says, Pleasure, delight, favor, goodwill, acceptance. Hmm. So like the word that I was looking for. Thank you. Okay, yep, this is what it says. It says, um, this is in the um, Hebrew Chaldea lexicon. It says, delight, satisfaction, to be pleasing, acceptable to the Most High, to be approved. And that's what we're hoping to be approved. When all hell break loose, when Jacob's trouble come, hey, the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget our works and labors and love. And we, we pray and hope that the work that we're doing, hey, it's acceptable, that our sacrifices are acceptable. In the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua to be able to eat in a famine and ultimately to be delivered from that nuclear destruction. You see? It says, uh, jump it down. It says, right here, it says, that your sacrifice may be accepted. And what is your sacrifice? Uh, ultimately, uh, believing on the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua and doing the work. You see? If you're a man like the elder Mawat the Zak, I always say out there in Cali, if you're a man of an able body, hey, you should be out here doing the work, man. You see? Hey, that your sacrifice may be accepted in the sight of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Hey, and he protect you in a famine and deliver you from the nuclear destruction. You see? And just to show that, hey, doing his work is a sacrifice. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13. Jumping down to verse 15, it says, The Most High's pleasing sacrifices. It says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. Hey, when we out on the highways and byways, when we uploading videos, and when we praying unto him, you know, reading, studying. You see? He says, That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name, you see, so his name matter, you see, and his name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah, who you know as Jesus Christ, that is how you say their correct names in the ancient Hebrew tongue, you see, for you people who saying the name don't matter, why did Yahweh Shah, when he knocked uh, 
Paul off the horse. He spoke to him in Hebrew. He have a Hebrew name. You see? So does the Heavenly Father. They have Hebrew names. You know, this is the book of Hebrews. And you niggas out here, some of the names don't matter. Hey, they're going to lead you to destruction. That's why we tell you to get away from them niggas, man. It says, but to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, the Most High is well pleased. You see, so the Heavenly Father, he's well pleased uh, when you uh, give praises unto his name. Because that's what it's all about. Uh, uh, feeding the sheep, warning them of the destruction to come, letting them know the, the, the names of our powers, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, tell them to, telling them to repent. You see? I want to read it in the NLT. It says, Therefore, let us offer through Yahweh Shai a continual sacrifice of praise to the Most High, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. You see? So if you're saying Most High Christ bless or Yah or whatever, whoever the hell you pray to, you're not uh, showing your allegiance with the true powers and creators of heaven and earth, man. You're praying to an idol and you're going to get killed. And it says, and don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. You see, and that's us sharing. Uh, giving them uh, uh, this truth, man. Whether they want to hear or whether they uh, don't want to hear. Hey, we we giving you the uh, the warning. We giving you giving you the game. We putting you down. Tell you on what to do. If you don't want to hearken into it, that's on you. It says these are the sacrifices that please the Most High. You see. Hey, pro. He says to proclaim the acceptable. So like uh, Isaiah sixty one and two again. It says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord Yahweh by Shemayahu Shai. You see, and the day of vengeance of our powers to comfort all that more you see those are those acceptable sacrifices you know preaching those good titans hey warning them of the destruction to come telling them hey the lord finna uh, uh uh avenge us for all the wickedness that esau even the so-called white boy has done unto us him first and foremost and the rest of the nations as well man you see those are the good titans that we are preaching unto you you see it says to a point unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem al Shai, that he might be glorified. You see, so hey, the Lord finna get ready and deliver us from this low state, man. We finna be. We finna be up, man. It's finna be beautiful. It's gonna be all love amongst the nation. Once two thirds of you niggas, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans die here in America, you're gonna come back righteous through the loins of the elect. Lord willing, we are that number of the elect to bring back the nation, man. And like the Lord, like the Lord just said, hey, we're gonna be glorified. We're gonna have our Lord, Yahweh Shai. On the throne and our King, King David, man, with 144,000 from each tribe govern the world in righteousness. Ain't gonna be no more eating pork chops and smoking cigarettes, eating GMOs and shit, man. Your woman can go and fuck another nigga just because she get mad. No, I, all that's gonna be out the door, man. And it says, and they shall build up the old waste. They shall rise, raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities and the desolate of many generations. Hey, Jerusalem is going to be a, a beauty in the earth again, man. Tell you how the streets are going to be paved with gold. It's going to be beautiful, man. Those pearly gates, you see? And it says, and the strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. The same way how we had to come over here and be the um feed uh their livestock, be their plowmen and vine dressers. That, that was picking cotton and shit. Them niggas, hey, they're gonna get it uh massive worse. You see? It says, But ye shall be named the priest. Of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shai. You see, we, we're gonna go back into that um to our old ways. Let me see. You 
Yep, it's the book of First Peter, chapter two and verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of Him who have called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. You see, we're gonna go back into that state of that royal priesthood again right now, and hey, we'll try none the foot, man. We're low. But the Lord is finna get ready and put us back in that royal priesthood state, man. Once America is destroyed, you see, we know a great famine has to come here. You see, people are gonna die from the famine. Hey, that's good tidings because guess what? The Lord said, my servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. My servant shall rejoice. That's why we're telling you to repent so you can be a part of that uh, when all hell break loose, man. So you can be eating, drinking, and rejoicing. You see? Yep, back to Isaiah 61 and verse 6. But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Men shall call you ministers of your of our powers. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. And the scripture tell you how um that's that Isaiah 2, how they're gonna come until the nation of Israel to learn our ways, man. This is going to be us being those priests and ministers unto them. And it says we're going to uh, eat the riches of the Gentiles. Hey, your greatest resources, whatever in your your land, you're going to bring it into our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. He's going to break bread with the nation of Israel. You see? It says, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. And in the NLT, it says, instead of shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. You see, so how bad we got it right now? The Lord, hey, he's going he gonna to double this. The Lord said, hey, whatever we think about, he's going to be on top of it before we even, you know, he's going he gonna to have it just laid out for us already. It says, you will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. It says, for the Most High, so like for the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering and I will direct their work in truth and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, have blessed. Everybody's going to know, like, man, look at them. We're going to be living it up, man. It says, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, My soul shall be joyful in my powers, for he have clothe me with the garments of salvation it's the good news and glad titans he have covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom deck himself with ornaments and as a bride adorn of herself with her jewels you see and lord willing we make the invite man you see lord willing he keep us to the very end to be delivered you see, and make it to the chambers of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man, to be being up on those chairs, receive those crowns and palms in our hand, man, and new bodies, and be righteous forevermore. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, her bud, and as the garden cause of the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. So once our Lord Yahweh Shai is set on his throne, hey, it says righteousness is going to spring forth before all the nations, man. Everybody's going to be righteous. And if you don't want to be righteous, you're going to be forced to be righteous. You see, you're going to be killed and killed until you get it right, man. You see? Because our Lord Yahweh Shai kingdom is going to last forever. And you're going to be reincarnated back again into a righteous kingdom that's going to stand forever, man. And Lord willing, we are the elect to be delivered out of here, man. You see? 
So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying unto you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn the truth from, and shalom to the hopefully elect.